I don't know about you, but I just love animals. There are cat people, dog people, horse people, and then people like me. I just love animals. Okay, so maybe I don't love snakes, but there are those people that do. Many people consider their pets to be family. So when they're shopping for a home, finding room for all of their family can be very important. Hi, I'm Alicia Collins with Remax The Group and the Alicia Collins Real Estate Team, and I've done some digging on what and how many animals you can have if you live in the Casper City Limits. You may have seen my video on the pros and cons of rural living, and if you haven't, check it out. If you did, you may know that one of the pros of living rural is less restrictions on animals. And yes, I do mean less. There are still potentially some restrictions on how many and what type of animals you may have no matter where in Wyoming you decide to live. You know, like lions and tigers and bears, <laughs> they are definitely not allowed as pets anywhere in Wyoming. So for today, let's focus on what you can have inside the city limits of Casper, Wyoming. I think some clarity is important as I was reading the frequently asked questions on the city of Casper website and they said no more than three dogs or cats in one residence. So. The way it was worded, I thought, do they mean three total or three of each? So then I had to dig further and read the pesky city ordinance number 1-19. Yes, you can find that ordinance on the city website. I've linked it below if you want to verify my data or just read it yourself. But let me sum it up for you. Per the city ordinance, no resident can have more than three dogs on a single premises. And of course, you have to register all of those dogs and you can have no more than three cats on your premises. So now we're talking six animals. And speaking of six, did you know that you can have six chickens in Casper City Limits? Now, you can't have roosters because we don't want to annoy our neighbors that much. But other than the six chickens, no other livestock or fowl can be kept in a residentially zoned area of the city. There are exceptions for youth group projects. So if your children are interested in raising other types of fowl for 4-H, for example, you will still be able to, even if your home isn't zoned for it. So now you are potentially up to 12 animals. Seems like a lot, but there are other limits. There are a few more you need to be aware of. You can't have more than 10 of any other pet on a single premises, but that does mean you can have up to 10 of several other types of animals, like snakes or reptiles. There is an exception to the rule of 10, fish, rodents, or other small cage birds aren't limited to 10. So, you can have three dogs, three cats, six chickens, and a ton of fish. And yes, as I'm reading it, you can have up to 10 snakes as pets. Of course, no poisonous or venomous snakes, reptiles, or spiders are allowed. So, that sums up the limits and regulations on numbers and types of animals. The ordinance has a lot more data and detail so you might take some time to check it out if you are looking to push the limits on animal ownership. If you are an animal lover like me, then the rest of the ordinance is pretty easy to follow. The big thing is you have to take care of your animals and it explains what happens if you don't. Of course, you need to make sure that all the animals in your care are fed and watered properly. Clean up after them and make sure they are safe and appropriately contained definitely can't let those six chickens run loose throughout the neighborhood. If you're like me and you have more than three dogs, I have eight, seven chihuahuas and a border collie. Miss Gracie was just filling in one of my friend's dogs. Then we need to find you a property in the country with no limit on the covenants. So enjoy your multitude of animals, but make sure you're taking care of them. And if you need a bigger home to house them, give me a call. I am sure we can find whatever you need. Remember, we want you to love where you live. See you soon.